This is another video in the tutorial series on how to use Evernote. And in this video, we're going to look at notes, how to create a note in all its various formats, such as audio notes, video notes, posting a note to Facebook, posting to Twitter, uh, clipping notes from web pages, all the different ways of creating a note. And I'm using the desktop application Evernote for the Mac. And we'll also have a look at uh, the iPad and how you might use that to create a note. Uh, to create a note in the desktop application, there are many different ways to do it. There is a, an option up here in the menu bar, New Note. There is in the File menu, New Note, or the keyboard shortcut Command N. Uh, there is more specifically new um, eyesight notes or webcam notes if you wanted to take some, some video notes or an audio note do it uh, directly from those options. Uh, down the bottom here, then a little plus sign, new note. So there's many ways you can do it. Just to use the uh, menu bar and a new note. And the new note, where, wherever it is in the system that I've set up, is always going to appear in the notebook inbox. Every uh, notebook that you create, you have the opportunity to decide whether that one will be your default netbook, uh, notebook. And, and because I do a lot of notes from different devices, and I also use a scanner to scan receipts, etc., uh, I want them all to go into one place. So they all go into the inbox. And you can see over here under notebooks, there are nine notes in the inbox that I need to sort through and file in more appropriate notebooks. I just haven't got around to doing it. To make a notebook the default notebook, you get the opportunity when you create it, but after the fact, if I right click on notebook and select notebook settings, I have that opportunity to make that my default notebook and I call it inbox. So that's where this one is going. This one, I'm going to create a note. I'm going to call it Messy Desk. And it's going to stay in the inbox for now because I don't know, quite know where, I'll, where I want to put it. And when I click into that, I can add some text. This one's going to be about my ambition to go paperless. And I can uh, format it as you can with all these sorts of word processing things. I can make it bold and can create tables and put into uh, dot points and a number, etc. Change its font, uh, change its size. So which I, I might highlight, highlight that, change its size to 18. Um, I can add a little audio to it. So if I return and hit the audio and record. My ambition is to be paperless and avoid a messy desk. And save that. I now have a little audio note in here, so when I click that to play it. My ambition and avoid a messy So you can do audio notes within your normal note. You can then also attach a file. So I'm going to attach a image. So this is going into my finder and to a downloads where I know I have an image of a messy desk. And you'll get this message coming up to indicate that unless you sync the, uh, in, the note that I'm creating on my Mac desktop is not going to be available in my online Evernote account. I have to sync the account for it to actually go beyond my local machine and I can turn that message off which I will and I will sync up here sync this note into the online account if we have a look at that note um, I'm going to give it a tag so I've got a tag for paperless so if I want to find this later on I can search for paperless to find it I'm also going to give it another tag image so if I want to find all my pictures uh, I can search for images this is now saved into my inbox so if we look over here under inbox it's these are all the messages in my inbox so here it is there that one 
if I went to um, the online, let's just sync it again. So you can see down the bottom here, it's syncing with Evernote. It's uploading the changes. And if we go go back to the online version of Evernote, so this is my Evernote accounts, and into the inbox, there it is there. It has the actual picture coming up, and it has the audio. Now that is now available online, so if I was to sync from my iPad's Evernote account or my phone's Evernote account apps, I will now get that note. Uh, if we go back to the Evernote account on the desktop, um, what else can I do with this note? It's, av it's available on, um, on my Evernote accounts, but perhaps I want to share it somewhere else. So up here, I can share that now. I can now post this to Facebook. And so it's going to, because I've connected my Evernote account to Facebook, uh, it's creating a post. I can then write something and put it onto, God, my typing is terrific, my excellent typist. I put it onto my own timeline. So there's the picture and the audio, which you'll probably think of this one, the audio, and share the link. And now it's now posting to Facebook. So if I went on to my Facebook timeline and just reload the page, uh, you reload the page, there it is there. There's the post that I just sent to share. Uh, I could also, if we go back, share this post. I'll just go back to the desktop version. I could share it to, I could email it. So I could email that note to somebody. I'll email it to myself. And send and so I can send this whole note which might be something that I'm wanting to to share with other people I can send it via email um, the email takes a while because of the picture is so large but that email has been sent and so if I now go into check my gmail accounts there's the email messy desk and it sent the the picture and you can see the WAV file for the audio note. So that you know, essentially works. Go back to the desktop version. Um, I could also post to Twitter. So again, because I've connected my Twitter account to uh, Evernote, I can now tweet it. So Messy Desk is the thing from Evernote and it's giving me the uh, the whole long link. You can tweet that. And then view it on Twitter. So it's sort of a bit of an, an ambiguous note there, but it, you know, it's possible if you really want to do it. Back to here. Uh, I think that was all there. So the it's pretty simple to create a note. You can attach a file to it quite simply. I could create just a new audio note. So uh, going in here, doing a new audio note will just go straight into the recording. So it brings you to the same thing, but it actually uh, is specifically audio. I could do that and record it again. This is another example of an audio note and save it. And again, it's going into the inbox. So I need to put some tags in and then move it out. Or I can close that. It's in the inbox. I've now got 10 in here. And rather than, because I can't find anything here, I might just change the way I've sorted it. So change it by date created. So there's the, the last two notes I've created. This one I don't want, so I can delete it by either going up to file. No, it's not in there. I'll just do a... Uh, a right, oh here it is up here in the menu, delete, either that way, or right click, right click and delete the note, so I'm going to delete this one, delete that, I'm going to delete that, 
I'm still left with this one, which I think I'll keep. So I'm going to put this into a new notebook. So rather than stay in the inbox, I'm going to put it into a notebook, which is part of my technology stack. And more on that in the next video when we look at notebooks. It's going into the paperless notebook. So it's now changed its, no, it's destination. It's where it's going to live. It still has the tags, but it's now out of the inbox. It's no longer in there. And if I go down to the paperless notebook, that's where it is. Um, if I wanted to create a new note from a web page, I've crea I'm creating notes here from the desktop application. So this is a web page that I have located, which has some information on a scanner that I'm going to buy to help me become paperless. And this scanner allows you to scan anything, receipts, uh, photos, anything you like. And so I want to, to clip this page and send it to Evernote. And part of Evernote is that you can download helpers, uh, clippers, and attach them to your menu bars for each of your browsers. So there's a web clipper for, for Chrome, for Safari, for uh, Firefox, for Windows Explorer, Internet Explorer. They all have them. So I'm using Safari on a Mac. I want this page so I can, and there's the, uh, the little elephant, which is the Evernote web clipper that's been installed in Safari. I can click that and it's going to take this whole web page. And from here, and that's the, the title of the article there, from here I can decide where do I want it to go. So I want it to go into a specific um, notebooks. So I want it to go into paperless. I'm going to call it, give it a tag of scanner, and maybe a comment about what this is. So I know later, purchase this scanner, and I want to save that article. And that's now clipping, and it's gone straight into the Evernote account. It, it is now there. So this is the Evernote account online. It has not come into the inbox. But if you remember, I give, did give the um, the clipping the notebook that the note was to go into, and it was to bo supposed to go into the paperless notebook. So if I go into here, there's the note that we clipped, and all the information is there. Now, another way to get a note into your account is to email it to your, to your Evernote account. So for this one, I'm actually going to go from my iPad and find a page that's on Safari on the iPad. So here I'm on Safari on the iPad. And this is a book, a, an iBook. It's available through the iBook store all about going paperless. So if I want that, that information to go into my Evernote account so that as I get closer to my ambition of going paperless, I might need to do a bit of research about how other people have done it. This might be a useful one to do. So I have an email address. And to send the information to my Evernote email address, in Safari, I'm just going to mail this particular article and it's giving me the, the link there. It's not going to actually send the whole page like a clipping, but it sends the actual link that I can find later. I have an Evernote email address which I have saved as a contact. And it has the, the subject and I can't, like with a clipping, put it into a specific uh, note, uh, notebook or give it a tag, but it'll go into my inbox. So I'm just going to send that, and then we'll go back and see what uh, has happened to it. So we're back in the online Evernote account, and I don't think it's, it's there. Yeah, it's already there. There's the actual message that I sent, and I now have the link that will open that particular page on Safari. It's not as useful as clipping the whole page and having it come up, but it's still useful. I could then go back from here and open that page 
and perhaps clip it from here if I wanted to. In the next video, we'll be looking at notebooks and how to create them and share them and add notes to them.